Hi everyone, welcome to Technical Tuesdays this week. Uh, here over the next few weeks, we're gonna do a series to talk about how to field check your equipment to make sure it's still reading the same way that it did when it came out of our factory. So in this episode, we're gonna talk about how to field check your DM32 gauge. This doesn't only work for the DM32, this works for the older Model 2, uh, the DM2, or uh, the competing gauges out there too. So any two channel, uh, high resolution manometer, you can do this type of field check with. So remember that a two channel manometer like this is essentially two manometers built into one housing. So what we're doing here is we're testing one side against the other. And this is a pretty quick test that you can do that only takes just a few minutes. And there's four different combinations here that you wanna look at. So if you're using the DM32 and we have the color uh, coordinated ports here, we'll test blue against yellow, blue against green, then red against yellow, and then red against green. And we wanna make sure that the DM32 is reading Pascals on both channels. So if I take the other end of my tubing here and go from blue to yellow, what happens is there's a pressure built up inside of this tube and it's reading that pressure on both channels. And in order to determine if it's reading correctly, these two numbers should be within 1% of each other. So it doesn't really matter what uh, the number is, um, with different lengths of tubing, the numbers will vary, but uh, we just wanna make sure that it's gonna read within 1%. So I'm getting uh, 267, 268 uh, on both channels here. So uh, this looks to be cooperating. So since I'm still in blue on channel A, channel B, I'll just move it over to green, and I'm gonna look for the exact same thing here. So I wanna make sure that those are gonna read within 1% and these are reading the same right on the money. So now I'll switch over to red on channel A and see what we're looking like here. Again, uh, I'm looking for the same thing. I'm reading 194, 95 on both. So then the next final one is gonna be that red to yellow. And this one checks out well, uh, just like the other ones did. Um, so whenever we made the DM32, um, we made the calibration interval every five years, which is a big jump from what the DM2 was, which was every two years. And the big change that we made was uh, switching from an analog sensor to a digital sensor. Uh, the digital sensors we found to be a lot more durable and don't really drift out of calibration nearly as much. So that's why we were comfortable giving you that five year calibration interval there. Um, on this clear gauge here, if we were to flip it over, you can actually see the sensors and the uh, pressure switches uh, that are built into here. And since we're still talking about the gauge here, I just wanna throw one more tip at you. In warm weather, try to avoid leaving the gauge in a hot car if you can help it. Um, if you pull the gauge out of a hot car and then start taking readings immediately, sometimes that temperature differential can affect how the gauge auto zeroes and might give you some funky readings. So if you leave it in a hot car or a truck, uh, just let it cool down for a few minutes and then take your readings. Or uh, just try to keep it in conditioned space if you can help it. Next week, we'll take a dive into looking at uh, how you can check your fans in a similar fashion. So we'll catch you back here then. Thanks for watching.